Hey everybody, Chunk here. As you can tell from my previous videos, I'm a big fan of the Command & Conquer General series. I've been playing these games on and off for like 20 years now. They're super nostalgic to me, and probably are for a lot of you guys as well. So out of the three factions in this game, the GLA is by far my favorite. They're just super sneaky and super fast. Today I want to try to use both my 3D printing skills and my scratch building skills to try to create a miniature scale GLA tunnel network entrance. I'm trying to make more of these videos in the future, so if you guys enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get building. Okay, before we actually get started building this thing, we need to find the proper scaling first. To do that, I'm going to surround the tunnel network with the rocket troopers. Using my super complex way of measuring this, it looks like we can fit about five rocket troopers around the tunnel network. They don't really stand shoulder to shoulder, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Um, so now we need to go and get a STL file for both the rocket trooper and the eight crates that surround the tunnel network. Ignoring this guy's gas mask, he actually looks really similar to the model in game. I also found some other files for the tip of the rocket and the little triangle vent on the back. So let's get some of these guys printed out. I printed all the crates, but I might have gone slightly crazy for the amount I printed. I was thinking that if I do a stinger site in the future, I'll have all the crates for that, and you know, we need to give our workers something to do around the base. Now if the soldier's done, let's get everything glued together. That was pretty damn easy, and they're looking pretty good. The triangle in the back really gives them uh, the look of the rocket soldier from Command and Conquer Generals. Okay, now we have all of our soldiers printed out. I did go over a little bit overboard. Um, I'm gonna measure it. So, looks like it is five inches by five inches for the area for our tunnel network. Now we're going to cut a five by five little square for the base of our tunnel network. Let's get cutting. Here's our five by five. So now that we have our base of the model done, I'm gonna come in with this pink construction foam. It's decent thick. I'm going to have it take up about half of the model up like this. I imagine this is enough room for our soldiers and the crates that are going to be next to them. Um, now we just need to double the height and I think we should be good. Okay, this definitely looks like the, the correct height for it, so I'm going to continue cutting. Now I'm going to cut the sides down and um, Hopefully make it a little bit thinner. We're kind of getting close to the final shape. Uh, also, with the off cuts that I'm getting, I'm gonna be turning them into the sandbags. Just need to cut it down. It's kind of the perfect height. Cut out a second layer. And now I cut out little scraps so we can have sandbags in this area right here. Okay, I'm going to glue this to the board and then uh, we'll see what we're gonna do. Okay, I combined both these with a just a skewer so they can be one piece for now. And now I'm going to get a wire cutter and cut them. This is my first time ever using the hot wire cutter. Hopefully I don't give myself lung cancer or some terrible shit. We used our foam cutter to slice this into a fill shape. For the next part of the process, we're gonna use this balsa wood and we're gonna use it for beams on our entrance. I'm still using the wire cutter to burn into the middle of this. Okay, now I'm actually going to glue this into place. 
I'm actually doing the inner paneling on the, the entrance. This is looking really good so far. Wow guys, I honestly didn't think this was going to look so good. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I need to work on the sandbags that are in front. I need to give them texture. I need to give the actual dirt mound texture. And um, I need to put a turret on top. But we're looking pretty fucking good. Okay, now that we have the actual tunnel done, I want to work on turning this into the turret on top. I lost the footage of me making the actual turret, but this is just made out of a little kebab skewer, and um, it's very simple. We're getting pretty close to being done. All we need to do is finish the sandbags and then give this guy a paint job. I'm going through and I'm going to be giving all the sandbags texture of this pencil. When I finish, they should be looking really nice. I poked a hole in the top of our tunnel and I poked a hole in our lid. Now I should be able to connect this with this bamboo skewer. Watch this guys. Bam. I textured everything with the pencil. I also went through and I drew cracks all around the outside of the tunnel network. Here we go guys, this is the completed GLA tunnel network. I'm really happy I started this project. I think it's looking pretty damn awesome. Um, I think it looks almost exactly like the actual in-game model, and it's scaled perfectly for all my other miniatures. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, if you want me to do another Generals building, make sure you let me know what you want me to build. Okay, have a good one guys.